Hello everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. Today I would like to talk about this beautiful Philodendron Mykens mother plant that you can see here. I must say that frankly I don't know anybody who doesn't love this plant. It's easy care, it's vining, it has gorgeous velvet leaves with green and brown colors. I think it's just one of those miracles of mother nature. Now, I got this plant in July 2020 in a local nursery. And as you can see on the picture that I took back when I got this plant, it didn't have a moss pole. It was just a small plant that was starting to trail down. I still have it in its original pot. And you can see that when I got this plant, the leaves were much lighter because it got more bright light in the nursery where it came from. And you can also see the shades of bright green, but also brown on the leaves because it's in a full sun when I took the picture. So this plant has been under my care now for almost two years. As you can see, the leaves are way darker now, since I keep it quite far away from my grow light. I also decided to give it a moss pole, so it can climb up instead of trailing down, and since then it hasn't stopped growing. Now, in general, what I do when I give a plant a moss pole, I let it climb until it reaches the top of the moss pole, and then I start to cut and propagate it. I prefer not to give it a taller moss pole because I want to keep this plant more compact. And by the way, as you can see at the bottom of the pot that my Mykens made a new friend, which is a small Scindapsus pictus that ended up in the same pot as my Mykens. Now, since I call this my mother plant, let's take a look at some of its uh, offspring. And so far, I took quite a few cuttings of this plant. And the first one I want to show you is this one. And as you can see, this uh, young plant, uh, I let it trail instead of growing it up a moss pole. And you can see the beautiful young leaves. This is actually here the back of a leaf, which is beautifully brown. You can also see the nerves. And when the light hits these leaves, it's really spectacular, if I may say so. And then to end this video, I want to show you another small uh, plant that I took from the mother plant. Uh, this cutting, I decided to let it grow in pond. And I'm almost sure that it will just be perfectly happy in that substrate. That's all for today about my philodendron mykens. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.